Please welcome 20 year old Jasmine to the Mari Show. Now, this has been some show today. And added to this is Jasmine's story. One week ago, Jasmine was devastated when her mother, Amy, admitted she had lied to Jasmine her entire life as to who Jasmine's biological father was. And her mother, Amy, then revealed uh, the name Anthony to Jasmine. So immediately, Jasmine contacted this man, Anthony, and his first words were, Jasmine, I really think I am your father. This is Jasmine's story. Ever since I was a little girl, I just felt like nobody's cared about me or loved me. My mom's always chose different men over me, and it's killed me. After all these years, my mom finally admitted to me that she's been lying to me about who my father was. She told me a guy named Anthony could be my father, and that made me feel sad and broken. I have never met Anthony face to face, and I have so many questions. I am furious with both of them. If Anthony knew he could be my father, how come he never came to look for me? I'm tired of feeling so lost. I need these answers. So we've given Anthony a paternity test. We're going to reveal those results later. But you should know also that Anthony has a son named Jacob, who is also here today. And Jasmine is going to find out if she has a brother she's never met. Living a lie. All these years, you blame your mom. Yes, I do. She should have known who she was sleeping with, for one. How did she all of a sudden tell you this secret? I mean, what, what, what happened? I asked her, I said, I know my, the one I've been calling dad my whole life isn't my father, so who is my father? And she told me, well, the only other person I slept with was Anthony oh. So I looked him up on Facebook, and I said, Mom, is this him? And she said, yeah. So I contacted him on Facebook. What did he say? I, I told him, I said, I think you might be my dad, <laughs> where to start out, but, and then, um, he's like, yeah, I think you might be right. Whoa. And, um, Just like that. Yeah. Have you and your mom always gotten along, or did you always have a problem? Of course I love my mom, but I feel like the relationship has never been, she's chosen guys over me my, in my life, and she's just. We're going to meet Anthony. You're going to meet Anthony for the first time. Ever. But first, this is what your mother had to say. Watch. I lied about who Jasmine's father was because I didn't want to hurt her. I did my best as a mother. If Anthony thought he was Jasmine's father, then where the hell was he? He should have tried harder to be in her life. He hasn't done anything in her life. I've done it all. After Jasmine was born, Anthony just moved away. I can't take back what I've done years ago, but I am here today to fix it. Now it's up to Anthony to make up for lost time and get to know his daughter. Everybody, here is your mom. Hi, Amy. Nice to see you. No hugs, no nothing, no, really. Did you ever tell Anthony he wasn't the father? No. No? No. I and feel like you just did what was best for you, because if you did what was best for me, Amy, you think Jasmine and Anthony look alike? Yes, I do. You do? Everybody, for the first time, Jasmine, you're going to meet face to face with Anthony and his son, Jacob. Here they are. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, Jacob. Nice to see you. You lied. Yeah, you are. How did she lie? How did she lie? How did I, lie? I want to see you. How am I lying? Nice to meet you. Tell me you, you never held her? No, I held it. I told everybody yeah. I held it. I held her. When she's 18, I said, this is not a Spanish baby. And I yes. kept trying to tell you that, that and it's you, not a Spanish and baby. We and you said, no, that's a baby. And I had to go make a life for... If you had that for... feeling, how come you didn't come look for me? <laughs> Why didn't your mama come look for me? Well, she had hard times. Yes. You could have came and looked for me. Look at her. I, oh, I, she looks like my daughter. I mean, as soon as she gave me a picture on, on Facebook, I was just like, man. There ain't no doubt. I look at the eyes. Look at the shape of the eyes. Were you blown away when you got the Facebook message? I was way blown away because 20 years has done gone by. And, you know, when I moved to California, because I had to leave him in California, too, because there's no real work there. So when I left there, I contacted Child Support right away from California to start paying on him. 
you know. So if I knew at that time for her, I could have did the same thing. Let's go back 20 years. And what was your relationship with this woman? We were like just doing it. <laughs> I'm not being mean. I'm not trying to be mean. No disrespect to you or you. It's just that's where it was. And when she was pregnant, she said it was another man's baby. Right. I held her and I still, like I said, this is not a Spanish baby. And she still continues that was baby. What I'm wondering is, when I came out and I was white, my other dad's Mexican, how come you didn't try to find my dad? <laughs> you should have found my dad. It's been 20 years, I shouldn't have had to call some other guy that hasn't even been in my life, dad. But I would have. Well, guess what? We're gonna clear this up one way or another, all right? We got the results. In the case of 20-year-old Jasmine, Anthony, you are the father. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Family. We make mistakes. It's all wrong. You should have just, just been honest. And I'm obviously a good dad. I got him. I got four other ones. Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.